the meeting of the Knights of the Round may now proceed. The Red Dragons have captured Thryatuck and have defeated the Forestmen. The Red Dragons have gone too far. I can't wait to get my hands dirty. I'm going to smash some heads. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I'm ready to fight. We're going to have a good old time. The Knights of the Round have accepted this crusade. I'm wondering if you had any information on the whereabouts of the Black Monarch. Funny you should ask. That's a big talk of the town. King Arthur and the Knights of the Round are riding to the Black Monarch's castle as we speak. The Red Dragons captured Friar Tuck. Where will we go to find King Arthur in order to join his quest? He is on the great road to the west. I want to take my chance at this. I, I, I'm going to go up to one of the knights and challenge him to a duel. I am Ray Stance. I will challenge a knight to a duel as well. And Ronnie challenges a knight as well. Yell Verbe, he decides to stay on the side. Ronnie's jousting career begins at an 0-1 record. Poor Steven, he also starts at 0-1. But look at here, Dr. Ray Stance, the cleric, he starts 1-0. So today's adventure begins with our heroes having a long rest after their first their first time adventuring into Nottingham. And it was a nice long rest. Everybody's nice and healthy and, and rested up and ready to get on with the crusade because that's what our adventurers are looking to do is help out King Arthur and the crusaders as they try to rescue Friar Tuck from the clutches of the Black Monarch and the evil Red Dragon. Our adventurers today include our Stephen the Forestman, Dr. Ray Stance, the cleric, Yalverba, the dragonborn barbarian, and Ronnie, the rogue. And over in the corner next to, in front of the castle, by, uh, by the gate there, you see two soldiers talking with each other. And one of them looks over at the other one, says, did you see those guys over there? That that funny little party there? They got their butts kicked in the jousting tournament just to practice going on the crusade. And they think they're going to go on the crusade. Can you look at these guys? And the other one looks over and says, Yeah, they think they're tough, but they're nothing. They couldn't even beat some knights. How are they going to handle the red dragons? Now, what do you do? Well, first I say... I say, <laughs> if I could have used my magic, your knight tournament rules don't apply to me when it comes to fighting the red dragon. Nevertheless, you are still 0-1 in your official, official jousting record. If you want to take, if you want to eventually become the champion of the jousting tournament, you got a long way to go, Missy. Well, fine. I don't need your mortal night jousting tournament i have other fish to fry other fish you say bigger fish bigger fish huh yes and steven looks over and says whatever i, I we could kick you two soldiers butts you, it's not like you guys can beat the knights anyways soldier looks back and says yeah whatever that's why we're just guards and not actual knights but Still, you guys are still 0 for 1 in the tournament. Nobody's going to be putting their money on you. Oh, yeah. I was the champion of that tournament. Yeah, yeah, you're the only one that actually pulled out a victory, but you got a long way to go if you think you're going to be the champion jouster around here. There's still Queen's Jiggle in my pocket. I'm not even part of a jousting tournament. And even if I was, good show that don't talk bad. <laughs> well, rumor has it you were too scared to enter the tournament. I'm not scared. I can slice head off. 
Oh, <laughs> slander and counterbag. <laughs> well, whoa, 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 there, big guy. We don't need any uh, trouble. They'll save it for the tournament over the Red Dragons. Have a good day, everybody. We, we have uh, guard duties to attend to. As the party comes around the corner down the Great Road, they encounter a carriage that is in the process of being robbed by two wolf pack bandits. What do you do? We'll take on those wolf pack. The, the wolf pack, the wolf pack looks over at Dr. Ray stance and says, just give us your coin and we'll leave you be. Otherwise you risk, you risk running into one of my crossbow bolts. Oh, I'll chop your head off. Oh, that'd be fighting words. That sounds like a fighting word. And the battle begins with the wolf pack shooting at Ray Stance, but he misses. And Steven comes in with the big slash with his sword, getting the wolf pack. And then here is Yalverba. He is raging up. He pulls out his axe and lands a massive blow. Just look at that shot there. And here, Dr. Ray Stance comes in and gets a slash with his sword. And here is Ronnie, and here's her fire bolt, gets a huge blast, and blows up the wolf pack across Bowman. What an incredible move. And here, the other wolf pack member, he slashes at Ray Stance, but Ray blocks it with his sword. And here, Steven comes, and he makes an error and ends up cutting himself in the face with his sword. That's gotta hurt. And yell, Verma comes in swinging with his great axe and decapitates the poor Fatality. of the wolf pack's tribe. No one mess with me. <laughs> Looking down from her carriage, you see a, a, night, a young lady. Her name is Lady Callie. And her horseman there, his name is Eric, and she looks down at you and she says, Why, thank you. However, can I repay you? Oh, I know. I shall give you three silver studs each. It's the least I can do. Until we meet again. Why, thank you, kind lady. The adventurers have crossed over into the kingdom of the Black Falcon. And there in the distance, you see two great castles, Black Falcon's Fortress and Black Knight's Castle. As our heroes come ever closer to Black Knight's Castle, they hear a voice holler down from one of the towers and say, Who goes there? It's just... Weary travelers on the road trying to find King Arthur. I know we look armed, but we will put our weapons away. And Stephen looks up and says, Yes, we just had some trouble with some wolf, cap, wolf pack bandits out on the road. And then the guard looks down and says, Yeah, those wolf pack, they're always causing trouble around here. That's why we we keep a we keep a close eye on who comes into our borders. And then he looks over at his fellow uh, soldier and says, "Do you think we should alert the Black Knight of their presence?" Oh no, no need for that. We will just be on our way. I'll show them that head. Yeah, Verba is carrying. Uh, <laughs> he's got his uh, prize. Trophy. Steven looks up and says. See, we, we have no we have no issues with uh, the black the black falcons, but uh, we are no friends of the wolf pack. Rest assured there. And then the soldier looks down and says, "All right, carry on. If you cause any trouble, just know that we shall be watching you while you are in our borders." We understand. Thank you for our safe passage. As the travelers make their way down the road, they see a couple of bushes out by the side of the road. Ronnie feels something is suspicious with those bushes. Those bushes. They look like a good place to hide. I really hope nobody's back there. We should investigate. 
As you walk over to the bushes, out pops three wolf pack members. Oh no. In the middle of them, you notice this one has on an eye patch and a red cape, and he he shouts over at the at you. Give us your money. We know that you attacked our fellow wolf pack members earlier on the road. We come for revenge, but we will spare your lives if you just give us all the coin in your pockets now. I I thought I wanted to hear that I've been carried the whole time at them. And here the wolf pack captain, he shoots right at Steven and he lands a massive hit on Steven. And here the other wolf pack crossbow man, he shoots at Yalverba, but he misses and Yalverba rages up. Just look at him go. And then he lands a big shot on the wolf pack captain. And as he's running up to slash at Yalverba, he trips and falls in the mud. Ronnie shoots her firebolt and he gets a massive hit on this wolf pack man. Dr. Ray Stance has disengaged and is taking a potty break. When you gotta go, you gotta go. And then this wolf pack member, he shoots his crossbow right at Ronnie and he misses her. It chopping time. In rage, Yelverba is immune to slashing damage, so he slashes back and lands another big shot and here Ronnie shoots with another firebolt and it hits this wolf pack member again Steven gets slashes at him with his sword this wolf pack member shoots at Ronnie and misses her and the wolf pack captain he shoots Ronnie and yell Verba goes to work like only he can and here comes Ronnie with another firebolt and hits on this guy again. He's really feeling it now. And Steven lands a big strike right on the arm of this wolf pack member. I pull out my sword and my shield. And Ray stances back in the fight. Look at that shot that he lands. Good job, Ray. And then the wolf pack member jumps back and shoots his crossbow, but Ray's shield is able to deflect it. Good job with the shield there. The wolf pack captain feels the tide is turning and so he starts to dash away. And as he is dashing away, Yalverba lands a big strike right on his back. The wolf pack captain and he says, I've had enough of this. I'm out of here, but you will see me again, you pathetic adventurers. I will have my revenge on you. Shut their hands Coward. Coward, right? <laughs> this wolf pack guy, he lands a strike right on Steven. And here's Ronnie using her firebolt again. And here's Steven landing a slash on this member of the wolf pack. He's getting in his shots. And here's Ray stance with the big shot here on this wolf pack member. But he jumps back and fires his crossbow at him again. And Ray stance's shield blocks it once again. And here Steven lands another big strike with his sword. And here's Ronnie with another big firebolt blast. He's feeling it now, for sure. And here Steven lands another big slash right on his chest. And here Yalverba comes in and finishes the job. Just look at that, splits him right in two. Fatality. And here Ray stands also not to be outdone cuts this guy right in half as well fatality and now the adventurers make their way to the home of the green dragon knights and the green dragon knights castle and they hear shouting down from one of the towers hey who goes there what are you doing in our lands just weary travelers passing through where are you heading we're on a mission to go join King Arthur's Crusades. King Arthur, you say? Well, he passed by here just uh, le less than a day ago. So we're only a day behind. Do you want to talk to the mistress of the castle, Green Queen? No, I think we've got all the information we needed from you, sir. We're just passing through, like I said, trying to find King Arthur, join his crusade. All right, carry on then. Thank you for safe passage through your land. 
You are welcome. And after a long day of adventuring, our heroes are called an evening, set up camp, and are taking a long rest. Well, that is my video for you guys today. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Please, if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me down in the comment section who your favorite character is so far. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, we got merch store. If you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. We got everything. You want some Mikey J stuff? We got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.